Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Iceman and Bob. This was a highly requested video by many of my subscribers. I tried to do my best to answer all of your questions and respond to whatever concerns and information that you all would like for me to give you. So shout out to everyone that did request this video. You will see the proper steps on how to access the service menu on the Samsung S95B television. I like to say this up front that you assume all risks, all liability and responsibility for accessing the service menu is on you. There is a potential to where your warranty could be voided, especially in terms of the damage regarding burn in. Burning is going to be a significant issue here. So you have to monitor this and depending on your use case and what you're doing with the television, again, that responsibility is on you. I assume no risk for showing you how to do so. With that being said, we're going to rectify most of the common issues, especially in terms of brightness on this television set. So what I'm going to do is I will describe the particular areas that we're going to fix. And then what I want you to do is follow all of the text prompts that I have on the screen. I'm not gonna do much more talking from here on out. Again, I just want you to follow the text prompts. I will show you any images that you need to see. With that being said, in order to get started, you're going to either need an older Samsung television remote such as the one that I'm showing you on the screen now, or you're going to have to have a pretty recent model Samsung phone, and then you would need the SmartThings app installed. You're going to have to connect to your television set via Wi-Fi, so you wanna make sure that you use wireless, even if you are using an ethernet cable, as far as your internet goes on your Samsung S95B. You wanna make sure it's set to wireless, okay and then have it on the same network regarding your television and your samsung phone all right you will see an example of the smart things app as well on the screen and again as i mentioned earlier you should have seen an example of the television remote so from here on out what we're going to actually address are the three main issues with this television based upon the firmware update. So number one, we're going to fix the dimming issue. And when I say dimming issue, I'm referring to where if you're watching content, we'll say static content. For those of you that don't know what that means, that's essentially the same type of image or a similar type of image where say you're watching a movie or a television show and then all of a sudden, a couple of minutes later you notice that your screen just keeps getting darker and darker and darker yet you do not have it on pause or anything similar to that well that issue is going to get rectified whether it is viewing regular tv or movie content or gaming all right the second issue we're going to fix is the overall brightness when watching content especially in hdr throughout the firmware updates and versions many of us know and if you don't know you do now that the tv lost brightness it was known to have 1500 nits in the very beginning when it first came out etc etc and so the firmware updates did take that brightness down now that is to protect your panel now i mentioned about the burn-in risks but however we're going to fix that issue if you choose to and have that brightness at least in most windows restored okay and then the third issue we're going to fix which is still currently an issue even in firmware 1520 is the game mode hdr brightness all right we're going to restore that that took a serious hit it just wasn't as bright as it used to be on the older firmware versions and so we're going to fix that all right so with that being said from here on out i want you all to follow my text prompts that you're going to see on the screen all right and if you have any questions as far as this it should be pretty straightforward and straight through please let me know in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer them okay again you assume all risk all responsibility and all liabilities if after activating these service menu mods your television 
has burn in or any similar issues okay with that being said please enjoy the video like comment subscribe I'm on the road currently to a thousand subscribers thank you so much for all of those who have subscribed and those of you that are subscribing right now and even in the future I truly appreciate y'all God bless you I hope you enjoy your TV please let me know if there's anything else I can do to help with that being said as I always say until we stream again